condemned the intrinsic evil of Freemasonry. Why? Number one, because a premise of Masonry is that hidden knowledge is power. It is a secret society that believes that through secrets and through secret knowledge, greater power can be ascribed and therefore a greater position of the human person. Freemasonry really begins in the Garden of Eden because as soon as man seeks a higher knowledge and can only get it through disobedience to God and the divine law, then you have the heart of Freemasonry. Freemasonry is a rationalism and a Gnosticism. It is a mind over a heart. It is an act of arrogance and rational disobedience to the church, which ultimately seeks to put Satan in the place of Jesus Christ. Today we're diving into some interesting territory. Is Jake Paul a Freemason? There's plenty speculation and I'll break down the evidence I've compiled so far. Let's start with this infamous hand sign, often called the Curse of Satan, more notably called the Horns. This was made famous by none other than Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. And Jake's throwing it up like it's a casual thing. It's one of his go-to poses. Would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? Sign Completely of the curse? different. How does it go? No, not at you, not at you people. <laughs> this is the sign of the horn. A curse, two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast. Is that it? Well, there are other ones too. Yeah, what are the other ones? The other ones, one of them, the pox sign, that's three fingers extended. A pox on you? A pox on you, during the Middle Ages, this yeah. was... Now check this out, the vow of silence. Just like other celebrities that are supposedly linked to secret societies, they all use the same symbolism, the shush. Except it's not just about keeping quiet, it represents secrecy and protecting hidden knowledge. Then there's the company he keeps, hanging out with people like Travis Scott, who's been under fire for satanic imagery and art in his music. Now, this breadcrumb right here is what started it all. I'm gonna give you something else right now. What do we you got? gonna I, give me some more bands? Yeah, I got, I got a gift for you. This nigga crazy. Good what? I accept. The handshake with Tyron Woodley, which in my opinion, is a classic Masonic handshake, a sign of membership within secret orders. They use different handshakes to communicate rank to each other. And let's not forget Jake consistently uses black and white imagery in his branding, his profile image, his boxing trunks. These are the same colors associated with the Masonic floors representing duality light versus darkness, good versus evil. These colors are a classic nod to the Masonic belief good cannot exist without evil. You're a bad cat. Well, you have to be bad to be good. I believe that hate is necessary in a controlled way just as much as love is necessary. Now here's another interesting piece of evidence. Jake has openly talked about doing breath work before each fight. Zerka and I share the same opinion on this. Check it out. Jake Ball, he goes into a basement to enter a non-ordinary psychic Freemasonic-like psychic state. You're talking about the breathing. You've seen it. And they do breathing exercises. But he said it triggers him into hysterically crying and hysterically laughing, which is a type of psychosis, and he's allowing spirits into him to punch harder. He said his career is spiritually charged. Maybe there's some weird spiritual higher powers controlling this career. Jake claims it's not about controlling his body, but also about connecting with higher powers that are guiding his career. That's a bit deeper than just your average pre-fight routine. 
Now here's why I don't trust his events. Jake Paul's upcoming fight with Mike Tyson could be more than just a match. It might be his humiliation ritual. We've seen it with plenty of other elite celebrities. Instead of wearing a dress, he could be getting knocked out by a 58-year-old boxing legend. So what do you think? Are these coincidences or is Jake Paul a part of something larger, something hidden from the public eye? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video insightful, make sure to subscribe and stay updated. Tune into the weekly podcast coverage of UFC. Also, big shout out to Rigo and his channel. This video was inspired by his coverage on the occult. Shoot him a follow as well. And until next time, God bless.